What's going on guys, Tom Newsham back with another video and today we're going to be reviewing the casein protein from my protein. We're going to be going through the taste, the flavours available, how it's different to whey protein and whether you should part with your hard earned cash to buy this protein powder. Well first of all, what is casein protein? Well casein protein is a different formula to whey protein. Now whey protein is a cheap, efficient and easy way to get protein into your body and hit your protein goals. Now it's typically fast acting which means it gets absorbed by your body relatively quickly. Now casein protein is a slower digesting form of protein. Now because of that people tend to agree that the best time to take it is on a night and therefore when you're asleep it kind of drip feeds your body protein. Now whether or not that makes any difference to the average gym goer is up for debate. But that's how it differs from whey protein. Now we're going to get into a taste test first. I went for chocolate. Yeah, just chocolate. I don't actually think there's many flavors available for the casein protein. And again, this won't be as popular as any of the whey proteins. So again, there's no point having many, many flavors. So let's have a look. Let's take the lid off and let's talk about how well it's mixed. Okay, so just trying to show you guys about spilling it. Firmed up a fair bit just from me shaking it there. Not sure how well you guys can see that, but that is the liquid. That is the foam on top. It's foamed up just like a cappuccino. Now. We're gonna go for a smell first, as we always do. And again, this, this definitely smells like a little bit more, like, I don't wanna say rancid, but it doesn't smell as pleasant as some of the blends of, of whey proteins that we've had, or even, you know, some whey protein isolates. So, the smell coming off this is not very appealing at all. It's almost, it does have chocolatey notes to it. The, the biggest thing I'm getting here is like, some moldy old slippers. Like, I'm gonna be honest, this does not smell very nice in the slightest. But I am gonna power through it for you guys, so make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell, smash the like button, and leave a comment about what you want me to review next, or other video ideas. Bottoms up. Okay, so definitely not one of the best tasting proteins out there. This is actually very, very different to a whey protein. You, you can tell the differences right off the bat. Now, number one, there's a more unpleasant aftertaste than you would typically expect from a whey protein. A lot of the times whey proteins taste very, very nice. Uh, the impact whey protein from my protein is a really good tasting whey protein. Having said that, some of them do have slightly unpleasant aftertaste. I would say this is not slightly, I would say this is just pure unpleasant aftertaste. Now, the way it's mixed, it's not mixed very well in terms of this. I don't have one of those um, little balls that you put in there, one of those springy balls that you put in there but I have shaken it really well. There's no clumps of protein in there, but you are getting a fair amount of powder with every sip. Now, I don't think that's anything to do with the way I've shaken it. Maybe if you did have one of those little stringy balls that you get with your shaker cups, maybe that's gonna make it a little bit better. But I just think because of the, the, the casein protein, simply may not mix as well as the whey protein. Let's go for another taste. Mm. Okay, so definitely a chocolatey taste. No denying that, it's a little bit like a, a Cadbury's hot chocolate mix, something like that, but then you get that unpleasant aftertaste. Now, again, the powder instantly got my throat. It's a bit similar to a PhD protein where, you know, I mentioned in that review, it's almost like there's like chopped up nuts in there. This kind of feels very, very similar. And again, that's probably just a casein protein over the whey protein. So if you are after a kilogram of casein protein from my protein, you are looking at 40 pounds or 39.99. But if you're after 2.5 kilograms, they're asking nearly 90 pounds or 89.99. But they typically do have regular sales on. Right now I'm looking at my phone, 16 pounds 80 for a kilogram, 37 pounds 80 for 2.5 kilograms. However, you might be watching this video six months or a year from the release and the prices obviously will vary depending on the day. Now the flavors available are chocolate, ice latte, strawberry, vanilla, or unflavored. As far as I'm aware, they're all the same price. I've only tried the chocolate one. Can you imagine the ice latte with obviously how much it's foamed up? Might actually be a viable option, but don't take my word on that. See if you can get some samples from somewhere before you make such a big commitment. Now let's talk about macros. I'm just gonna read this off the back. So for one scoop, which is 30 grams, you have 107 calories, 0.4 grams of fat, two grams of carbohydrates, and 23 grams of protein. So again, the macros on this, not actually too bad. Again, low fat, not much in the way of carbohydrates, and a decent amount of protein as well. Again, a lot of these uh, whey proteins are giving you 19 grams or less of protein per scoop, and they're really 
trying to make your double scoop. With this you'd be okay with a single scoop, but bear in mind if you do double scoop that it's going to be 46 grams of protein that again you'll supposedly get drip fed to you throughout the evening. Now whether or not the average gym goer is really going to see any benefit from having casein and whey protein throughout the day is really up for debate. However, the people who are maybe competing in bodybuilding shows, competitions, sport in general, they may actually be who this is aimed for. So again, you might want to add casein protein into your supplements list if you are training much harder than the average gym goer. And recovery is something that you really need to keep on top of in order to perform every day. However, having said that, there has to be better taste in proteins than a my protein case in protein. Um, not a big fan of this one in terms of taste, in terms of texture, and definitely not in terms of smell. It really is that aftertaste and that, that sort of texture that really does sort of throw me for six with it really. So I'm not going to recommend this one. I'm going to give it like a two out of, out of five. Um, I think the macros are really good, but I think the price is just, it's just way too expensive. I know protein's sort of gone up a bit now, but 90 pounds for 2.5 kilograms of, quite frankly, not a very nice tasting casein protein. It's just way too much money to be charging for something that really, in my opinion, I don't think many people are actually going to enjoy. But again, the macros are decent. That's kind of the only saving grace for me on this case in protein. But in the meantime, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If it's your first time watching, do a lot of protein reviews, also fitness related content, as well as a few other sort of like side hustle gigs that I've got going on, giving you tutorials on things like Amazon Flex. So please do subscribe, ring that notification bell, leave a comment about what video you want me to uh, do next, and smash the heck out of that like button. But yeah, lots of fun, exciting content coming up. But in the meantime, I'll see you guys in the next video. See you.